Okay, so in Community Builder in Joomla 1.5, part 2. Alright, in part 1 we left off at item number 9, add new user list menu item. Oh no, actually, yes, it was a uh, add new user list menu item. Alright, we created the user list. That can be seen here. We called the list browse users. All right, in order to create the uh, menu item for this, go to menus, main menu, create new, choose community builder, and user list. Okay, I pre-populated some of these fields. Um, one of the fields you'll have to uh, populate is title, and that's uh, we're going to call it browse users on um, access level you want to make sure that's registered because um, somebody that's public you don't want them to be able to uh, browse the users um, parent item is going to be top and it is going to be published um, this important item over here is the list ID that is found in the CB list manager and the listing all the way over here at the end you can see list ID 4. We're just going to come over to here, put 4 in, and hit save. Okay, next on the list is item number 10, which we're not going to do that. We'll load sample data tool. Um, we're going to do it an example registration here that will give us a user to play with. Um, and adjust community builder and Joomla Mambo CMS settings to allow registers only through Community Builder. Um, that's a little tricky one because I honestly cannot find any of those settings. So normally what I do is I just go here to Registration, make sure everybody's set up okay. Um, this allows you user registration, same as Global, allow registration site setting. Um, this is also set in the Joomla configuration the default is to allow registration. Um, auto generate random registration password, probably not a good option. Everybody forgets them, nobody writes them down. Um, require admin approval for registration. Um, probably want to set that to no because as soon as they get their confirmation email, they want to send it off and be registered, um, which is the next one. Require email confirmation, yes, that you make sure that you get a valid email address from everybody. Um, this AJAC username checker, um, you probably want to change that to no because when the user enters a username, it checks in the system to see if the username is already used. Uh, seems like a good idea, but it's a little clunky. And you also want to choose no for the AJAC email checker. Yes, require unique email. Show login on registration page, no, uh, because they got to get that. Um, confirmation email um, so on and so forth these are all dependent upon how you want to change your greetings um, this is all uh, in the confirmation email um, this is another one here enable terms and conditions set to yes to require users to accept your terms and conditions before registering all right I haven't even made any changes in here so I'm just going to hit cancel Okay, I'm going to go over now to the front end. Notice on our main menu, you don't see any of the links that we created. I'm going to scroll down to the CB login. This is the login module that we enabled. I'm going to choose register because I do not have an account yet. Okay, when you see the registration field, um, you're going to need to enter some information. I pre-populated it here. Um, you're going to need to enter the first name, last name, email, username, and password and then verify it. Okay, registration is complete. Now the user is going to have to go out there and um, confirm their email. We're going to cheat a little bit on that. We're going to switch over to the administrator, go to community builder, user management. Okay, you notice the new user, Jeffrey Wilkie is not enabled and not confirmed. 
So we're going to edit that user by clicking on it. We're going to go to contact info. We're going to approve this user. It defaults the yes when it opens. And we're going to confirm the user. And then hit save. Now when we go back over to the front end and hit home, we'll be able to log in. That refreshes the page in home. We'll enter the login. Okay, and here you can see my profile page. Um, none of this, these tabs are just basic setup. Um, the contact, you know, these tabs on the bottom are basically not set up yet either. You can have the articles tab down here. Um, but now you can see the profile menu option is here. So use that. It brings the user to their profile. And then the browse users. This is the list that we created. Um, there's only one user in the system, so it only shows one user in the list. But you can see where um, we added the username picture, the other username, and then the online status. And if there's any searchable fields, we'll be able to search. And we can add username Jay Wilkie. And it found one guy. Okay, that concludes part two of Installing Community Builder in Joomla 1.5. Um, there's a Community Builder is highly modifiable. You can add fields. And different types of lists. Um, all that is for other tutorials, but this gives you a, a complete instruction on how to install Community Builder for Joomla 1.5.